And welcome back, everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for part four of our special uh, sub battle Saturday stream. This is something that we do the last Saturday of every month. So far, it's been going so well for me. I've been drawing very well. Um, Team Chats has not had the luck that I have had today. So you know tomorrow, whenever I play my matches, I'm going to be losing all of them. <laughs> That's how luck goes in Magic, as you know. Um, but anyway, this this is where I play against subscribers each round. I play different decks every round. Um, the subscribers bring their fun decks, and we have a lot of fun here. So I uh, hope you're enjoying this later on YouTube. If so, make sure you hit the like button over there if you like these videos. To find out what deck I'm going to be playing, I need to spin the wheel. So we've already figured out I'm playing against Sir Zapdos. Let's spin this wheel. I have 45 different decks on here from uh, decks that we have played over the last month on stream. And I got Elemental Arcbow up next. Okay, so we're going to do Direct Challenge. We got our best of three. I'm playing Elemental Arcbow. And this is a Vivian Arcbow Fires of Invention deck with a whole bunch of Cavaliers. Or a whole bunch of Elks. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Todd is like Achilles right now in Troy. Is there no one else? That was a good like I really liked the the Brad Pitt Troy movie. Well, that was a good movie. I always like that that uh Story. There was there's like the Troy books that were written, oh, I don't know, maybe a decade ago or so that I, I liked that it's like a three book series. So I was, I had that, the phase of being into the, um, I don't know why I kept that on top. It's not really a good card to have. I really didn't need to keep that on top. I'm known for my excellent timing. I went, yeah, definitely went through a phase of, That's more uh, like it. you know, into the Troy stuff. Um. No. Yeah, I thought about playing like the other one so that because Teferi's probably going to bounce this Fires of Invention here. Bio Essence Hydra. Now that's a card right there. But all this means is I'm not activating Arcbow for this turn because I'm just going to be replaying the Fires. More like Bioessence Elk. See? We're, we're turning... Cavalier of Dawn is just like the original Oko. We should make a Cavalier of Dawn plus Oko deck. Turn everything into 3-3s. Three this might be a bad idea. Whoa, Kaya. Alright, so it's Exile Target Creature. I don't know what the first part is. Your opponents... And permanents your opponents control with Hexproof don't have Hexproof anymore. Alright, that's cool. All right, so I'm going to just activate Arcbow here, see what we draw. 
We'll get the Cavalier. Put some stuff back. Let's go back. Grazer and other arc bow. Um, so three loyalty for Teferi, four loyalty for Kaya. I think I hit the Kaya. I'm not dead yet. Try harder. He missed the old epileptic wheel. This is why playing Arcbo and Fires of Invention is amazing. Because you know he, you don't need your mana with Fires of Invention. So you just use all your mana with Arcbo. It's such a great combination. Kai's pretty good. Don't worry, I got this. Hey, what's up, Gatsby? Yeah, I have been getting really lucky today. Um. Wait, seven. Basically seeing if we hit like Risen Reef so we can start drawing more cards and stuff like that. Um I think Ganaris got the win. I don't remember I don't remember exactly what the matchup was. Oh, Ganaris was, was playing Soul Time Midrange. You know, that's so like the best deck in standard. It got me. Oh no, I got so punished for discarding the Arc Bow. Oh, so punished. So punished. I'm drawing the worst card in my deck, <laughs> the Arboreal Grazer, because even even lands, you know, at least get towards Omnath and everything. This is just the actual worst card in my deck. Or my last two draws. I guess Sir Zapdos flooded out pretty bad over there. And done done too much the last couple of turns. Or uh, waiting on mass manipulation. Let's manipulate for three. I am in trouble. Should not have discarded that arc bow. Okay, good. Not manipulation for three. Dang. Didn't have enough.
So a land does let me redraw a card because of Omnath. So a land isn't actually like the worst thing. Ooh. That's better. Yeah, I don't I'm not updating my deckless command, but all you can find all the decks on the stream decker page, but I'm not updating the command every turn. Oh no. That could mill me out. I am that which me getting milled out is something that I am kind of always worried about with this deck. I'll return where you that could mill me out. So if I do Yurok, it gets two, and then this, it does four, so six total. If I go Risen Reef, it's two, and then your rock is four, so six total. So I guess it doesn't matter which way I go. I guess going your rock. Maybe if we find something else really good. I guess this this doubles this thing up immediately. Um. Oh, dang. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is doing six damage. I could just kill the voracious Hydra. Yeah, I'm definitely worried about the library. It doesn't seem like I'm worried about the library but by playing that, I guess. I don't really care what I draw. Probably attack with Risen Reef also. Oh, you're welcome, LB. I'm glad you're really liking the Simic Wishes deck. That's awesome. And Monty, it's going really well. All right, so I'm at 22 cards. Bye-bye, Grazer. I guess I should put more lands in the graveyard for this Cavalier Flame, too. All right, well, it's going away anyway. Maybe, yeah. That's a satisfying... Um... <clears throat> okay. 
So I, I have the Omnath that just does 10. So I could just play that, do 10. I could have gone like the Cavalier of Dawn first to blow up the enchantment and get my Cavalier of Flame back. All right, so Bant stuff. Hmm. I'm going to play the Agent of Treachery and I'm going to cut a Growth Spiral or a Grazer. We're going to cut a Grazer. Okay. This deck's pretty sweet when it gets going. The bane of this deck, though, of course, is Oko. You know, playing this deck over in ranked is just like... Whenever my opponent plays Oko, they just turn these Okos into into Elks. I mean, that's just the, the huge bane of this deck. If Oko gets banned, this deck would be looking a lot better. I'm playing 26 lands in this deck, because hitting our land drops is definitely important. Like, we need to get to, like, five land drops. So I'm keeping two lander on the draw, hoping we draw more lands. Yeah, Ember Cleave is pretty rough. Um, I mean, it's, it's really powerful and everything, but yeah, getting it turned into an elk, that is... It's rough. It's, tar it's hard to play... I mean, honestly, it's just it's just kind of hard to play um, creatures and artifacts right now. It really is. I have just the trick for this. Oko punishes you for wanting to play creatures and artifacts. But of course, if you can, if you can get. You know, Embercleave, you want it to be like a, a final blow type thing. You know, so it still has has a lot of power. If you can. I know my responsibility. You know, if you make it like a one strike type Let's thing. Try this. I am not making this so yeah, question is if, if if I could ban one card out of the Simic decks, what would I choose? I I honestly would choose Oko. I mean, Oko is just a miserable play experience. Like, it's not it's not an enjoyable experience to get all your your cool cards that you're trying to play turned into elks. Oko really should just say like, target artifact or creature you control becomes a three three. Making your opponent's creatures into three threes is kind of absurd. All right, so Wanderer and Kaya eggs on my creatures over here. I've got time. Oh yeah, I mean, it, it definitely should have been a minus one, as a couple of y'all are saying. It should not have been a plus, that second one should not have been a plus one, it should have been a minus one. And, and Oko should have started with one last. Like, Oko would still be a really good card if 
Oko started with one less loyalty oh, no and the problems. second ability was a minus one, it would still be a really good card. So it's not like it's not like that would be making Oko unplayable or anything. It'd still be one of if not maybe even the best card in standard. So I I cannot draw multiple cards in a turn because of Narset. So casting the Cavalier Gales, I don't actually draw anything. So that doesn't that isn't very attractive to do that. So I'm I'm gonna just be activating this arc bow at end step. Yeah, there's yeah, there's no erratating. That's not an option. It's it's banned or nothing. They're not going to change the text on the card. Keep an open mind. It was a pretty big mistake of a print, in my opinion, though. Here we go. I wonder what, like. What's the upside of printing Oko? Like, why? Like, like why? Like, what? What do they want standard to to look like with people playing Let Oko? Like, how? Why would why would they think that that would be a card that people enjoy playing and gets people to excited to play Magic? Where's the upside? What's What do they envision Oko doing? Oko doesn't just make wizards money. That's that's not what they were envisioning with the card. You can print any card that's that's kind of playable, and they're gonna make money. They're gonna sell packs. It's not like not you need a card like Oko specifically. You know, like any like whatever cards you want to print that are pl getting played in standard it makes pack sell. It doesn't have to be something. Similar to Oko, and it's not like it's not like a like that card, like its price on the secondary value doesn't directly um, it's not it's not like money that that wizards directly sees. Yeah, like they're they're gonna sell packs in the set. Like the set, the rest of the set's like a lot of fun and everything, and they're gonna be selling the packs. It wasn't necessary to have a, a card like Oko. So obviously, time wipe is going to clear this up.
I've done the hero thing before. Alright, so we'll go scry two. We're gonna keep this temple on top. Put the temple into play. Scry, put that on the bottom. I'm honestly just going to be milling out here. Yeah, I have to I have to target the Wanderer with Omnath because Wanderer does not protect itself, but it protects everything else. So I have to so if I play Omnath and do damage, I have to do damage to the Wanderer. I should put that in hand. So I'm not sure what exactly... Oh, right, they just have instant speed time wipe. Never mind. I am sure exactly. I was like, what is my opponent trying to do here? This is hardly my worst defeat. No tail should be discarded. Yeah, I just play magic here on stream, yep. So yeah, I put the breeding pool in hand to be able to trigger the Omnath. This is why for for the question of why did I put the breeding pool in hand? Put it in hand to trigger Omnath. Huh. 
<laughs> Reprint Meddling Mage to answer Oko. <clears throat> I need a need pithing needle. Good colorless one mana answer instead of two mana with spyglass. I mean, and also just be able to pair the two together, be able to have spyglass and needle. With patience, even a light breeze in the wind. Do not challenge a raging river. Oh, I have eight mana. Um, How many cards do I have? Thirty one. And that's such a good combination, Fire Zone Invention with Arcbow. You know, just get to activate Arcbow for infinite each turn while still playing stuff. You know, because I just played a Cavalier of Dawn and a... Um, and an Omnath and still activated Arcbow for eight. GG's, Zapdos. GG's. Yeah, game one, you flooded out so bad there, that game one. Okay, we still got an hour left. If you are a subscriber and you'd like to play next, type the word battle into the chat. Yeah, that that deck could, a deck, when, when playing that deck, you definitely have to be worried about milling like the whole time and you gotta be cognizant. You have to be, yeah, um, aware of that. What's up, Universal Solution? Thanks for that. Uh, cheers there. Thanks, Solution. Um, yeah, gotta be aware of that. I don't think it's worth playing a card like Jace or, or something like that, though. All right, so just for subscribers, see who we're, we're playing against next. Ah, uh, it's okay, Fluffy. I'll get it next time. All right, the Ripper. So, Ripper. Ah, uh, thanks, Fluffy. All right, send me that gamer tag. I always like Clear the Mind. Clear the Mind's pretty good. All right, now I'm going to be spinning this wheel to decide what deck I'm playing next. Let's see, what do we got? Kakashi! Thanks for that resub. I'm playing Jund Adventures. Kicking it old school. With Jund Adventures. Okay. Whoops. Good to see you again. Ah, get out of here. Good to see you. Get out of here. Ah, uh, still back. Okay, so Jund Adventures. So this was a donation deck. Back again towards the beginning of the format. Pretty explain explanatory, so pretty self-explanatory. You know, it's just all the, the Golgari Adventures cards with Bone Crusher Giant in it. So here we go.
<laughs> Replay tutorial. This is just like a perfect hand. I already played that Fable Passage before I drew Once Upon a Time. Take Legion's End. Uh, not so lucky Clover. Uh, no, there is not going to be a six player brawl on Arena. Arena isn't going to have multiplayer any time soon at all. So I went with the Lovestruck Beast because Lovestruck Beast can make multiple bodies here. And I figure that could be something that a control that could struggle with is multiple creatures. But I guess it gets countered, but we still get a 1-1. I really don't want Beanstalk Giant countered. I think I still play it though. Both resolved. Yeah, the percent by the mythic is your rank. Yes. It's like, how close are you to the top 1500? Yeah, it, it used to be 1,200, but yeah, it went up. They have more spots now, because yesterday I was ranked like, you know, 13-something, and I think I was maybe 14-something at one match, you know, like going back back and forth. Um, so yeah, it's, it's more than 1,200 now.
Good job, Eames. Way to go. Went 7 0 your first draft today? That's awesome. Has so much card advantage in this deck. Like Lucky Clover. It's just so many cards. And there's still this this black castle here. To draw even more cards. This is pay two, exile five cards from opponent's graveyard, return it from your graveyard to your hand. Yeah, Lucky Clover is... Very powerful. What deck am I playing? I'm playing just tons of different decks today. Like, we're playing a different deck every round. Only time will tell. More one ones. Yeah, I'll reset Arena again after this one. I don't think I should... Don't think I should really activate Castle. To, you know, could have drawn a card and lost four life there with how much life I lose from Foulmire Knight and Murderous Rider. So I have three basics. One, two, three, four, five, and five other lands. Well, I just got one of the basics out. So there's seven lands left out of the 28. So a quarter of the deck. I've had all this card advantage, and we haven't even... We've drawn zero of the Edgewall Innkeeper, also.
All right, we got a backup beast. can't decline the second rider you, you have to you have to do it it says whenever you cast it copy it that's not a you may copy it it's whenever you cast it, you have to copy it you may choose new targets so i could i could kill my own creature if i want and then my rider doesn't doesn't fizzle like that but that's just me losing another two life to kill my own creature all right so veil of summer these legions end out, duress. Um, I guess we want all these Ashioks. My worst card is the Bone Crusher Giant there. There's only 24 lands in the deck? Whoa. Felt like we are playing like 28. I wish we had more of these Order of Midnights. Basically, I don't think my opponent has very many win conditions, and so I, I want to try to get rid of them with Ashiok. I want to keep the removal, like the Murderous Riders, in. I guess Lovestruck Beast is my next worst card, I guess. Either that or Once Upon a Time. Yeah, I guess those are the only two realistic cards to take out is either Once Upon a Time or Lovestruck Beast. Um, I'll take out one Once Upon a Time. No, definitely not cutting Lucky Clover. See how good Lucky Clover was in that game? No, can't can't cut that card. Should have cut Love Struck Beast. This Love Struck Beast could have been This could have been once upon a time. Which would have helped me quite a bit. I, w I wouldn't want to veil a summer of that thing anyway. I was basically testing for veto there. Veil of summer is going to be much more important than saving that love struck beast. A little later. Doesn't look like it's too important right now, though.
Uh, yeah, Gennaris won for team chat playing, playing Sultai. Wait, they didn't get... Didn't get a blue source? That's a good card. The thing about playing the innkeeper is that then I have to Veil of Summer, Allegiance End. I don't want to Veil of Summer, Allegiance End. I have two Veil of Summer. Are they in here? I think there was two. Good thing Lucky Clover is colorless. I'm not going to play both of my innkeepers because of a wrath. I'm going to play one innkeeper. So they're down to two cards in hand with the two insights. Um, what do I want to resolve? I think I want the Ashiok to resolve, honestly. to the Wrath queue. 
Yeah, they scry top. I can't I can't get that la I can't get that card though. Even if I try Ashiok Mill, they have the chemistry's inside, they could draw it. Um, but I guess that could like make them you know cast that immediately then. Yeah, I definitely want Ashiok to resolve. Easier said than done, though. So many lands. Um. Just be impatient with the Ashiok. And try to try to be able to play it some other time where they're tapped out dealing with other stuff. Ripper knows about the Rider and the Midnight, the Order of Midnight. Kind of get infinite innkeepers. Not exactly fair. Drawing basic lands is the worst thing that we can draw because of Beanstalk Giant. But kind of looking for like, you know, one of my uh, my other Duress, my other Veil of Summer. I think I have one, dur one Duress, one Veil of Summer in here. So basically safe cards to make it safer to play Ashiok. I can no longer stand by and watch. Here goes nothing.
That's I guess that's the risk though of holding Ashiok. Is if they draw a discard. I guess that's why against the Thought Erasure deck, it's good to just empty it. Yeah, you get you only get XP um, after your first like ten wins of a day or or something. There's a there's a cap on it each day of how much XP you get. So if you've already played enough to earn that cap, then you're not going to get more. That's how it was meant to happen. I'm down to 23 cards. A couple more Ashioks in here. There we go. I was going to say I want to look for them while they don't have any blue mana available. So at 23, I'm at 20. <laughs> How are men to compete with such reckless card advantage? I've got time. Man, the two towers, what a great movie. Draw a card. They find a wrath. No. The valiant effort here by the Ripper. Valiant effort there. All right, we got time for like one more. That was Jund Adventures. So let's see who's going to be up next. I think we got time for one more. So if you are a subscriber, type the word battle into the chat. Dang, I'm sorry, Ripper. Said you have five Wraths in the deck and only drew one both games. Sorry about that. I'm going to reset Arena while we do this. So if you're a subscriber, you want to play up next, type the word battle into the chat. Yep, rebooting. There. <laughs> no, I need... it. So yeah, we have to hit two more sub goals before our next 12 hour stream, but we're going to set that up. <laughs> Do I ever lose? Yes. I'm getting, I'm getting all the luck today. So tomorrow we're going to lose a bunch probably. 
that's probably just how that that's gonna work there I think it's Minas Tirith and Minas Morgul I think those are the two towers I think those are the two I don't think it's Orthanc and Sirith Ungol. We're going to play... I have I have three donation decks to do tomorrow, and then I was going to do Ranked with Esper besides that. Yeah, so 17 more subs. But I, but so basically that, that means that we'll, we'll set up a day for the 12-hour stream. Which I'm thinking it's probably going to be... Um, it's probably going to be um, here you go here's a here's a link to the the John deck you're looking for the John deck there's the the video with the John deck there um, okay Let's see who's up for our last match of the night. Baloney Pony. All right, Baloney Pony, you are up. Oh, Yud. Oh, Yud got in just a second too late. Uh -huh. Thanks, Cracker. Okay. Uh, let's see. Send me that gamer tag. There we go. That's that's what I was doing. Yep. There's my gamer tag. So baloney pony, where's you? Send me that gamer tag. All right. Cool. You're getting it. All right. And let's let the wheel decide what deck am I playing up last today. Sorry, Yud. Abzan Knights. Did we already play this deck? No, I guess we didn't. No, we haven't played Abzan Knights, no. Have we? We played Abzan Hero, and that's still on the wheel. Yeah, we did. We played this deck. Isn't this supposed to remove the choices after it's landed on? That's weird. Let's I'm gonna respin. We did play that deck. Yeah, Elemental Arpo's right there. What is going on? Why is it not removing them after I spin and hit it? We just played Elemental Arpo a little bit ago. We played Orzon Value. I guess whenever I click this, I guess I didn't I didn't click the apply wheel changes, I guess. Alright, Esper Hero. We have not played Esper Hero. That deck's kind of lame, though. I'm gonna try it again. It's our last last deck. I don't I don't want to play Esper Hero for the last deck. Okay, Grixis mid range. That deck's cool. All right. All right, Grixis midrange. All you have to do for the, the settings is just, all you have to do is just change this one to say best of three, this third one. That's all you gotta do. Just change that to say best of three. You don't, don't touch anything else. All right, Grixis midrange. This is our Grixis midrange deck. Robber the Rich not have a card style? Lame. All right, and then Baloney Pony also set, send me that gamer tag. I need your gamer tag. Of course, there's mine again. Sorry, whales. It's tough. I've 
you've gotten to the sub battle a couple of times. All right, so Baloney Pony waiting on your gamer tag right now for me to type in here. Oh, it's up here earlier. I missed it. Oh, there it is. All right, I found it. I missed it. Okay. I'm good. Yeah, that sounds right. I think you're, yeah, you're one and one against me, whales. That sounds right. I fight whales with my fists. Meow. Hello. See, I'm not playing the Knight of the Ebon Legion on turn one. But I think that's okay. Hmm. That's a good card. Oh, they have to have more cards in hand than you. I was like, but they have less cards. I was like, what's going on here? Oh, they have to have less cards than you. Or they have to have more. I was like, but, but I kept all these cards in hand. Isn't this good? Oh, whoops, wrong way. Don't worry. I brought company. This isn't good. We get to block with the cat. Puts me down to, at the very best, I'm going down to one. I mean, they could kill Knight of the Ebon Legion and stuff, though, too. Hey, team. Yep, welcome back. Yeah. Had a very successful day today, but team chat's going to be up a game here. This is really impressive showing here for this deck that I'm currently playing against. Quite impressive. Maybe I'm not cut out to be a monk. Oh, I guess I need to use the red mana. Ready, Will? By your side, I am always. My answers lie in the cold truth. <clears throat> okay. Team chat up a game. I thought my hand was really good, too. It was not 
That's good. All right, so to bring in a fourth Legion's End, which is pretty big, um, I think the, the three Ionize, four Thought Erasure, even the two Wrinkles, I don't love. But I don't really have other cards that I want to play. Elder Spell's not bad, per se, but I don't think I want it. Yeah, Rakdos looking good. Oh, Baloney Pony, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't, I didn't see you say that. It's best of one. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, I, I brought in two cards from the sideboard. I'll, I'll, if I win this, I'll take those cards back out. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed that. Uh, well, that was a bad decision to shock there. They can block Knight, force me to activate Knight, and then take out Paragon. Yeah. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, Love Struck Beast is supposed to be for mono red. With my sister by my side, I do not for Simic food. Because it's, it's a. It's a five toughness creature for three mana. I guess maybe I should have just kept up Ionize, because yeah, I guess this the sacrifices. I mean, I knew about that card in hand, I just didn't really think of this. So yeah, claim, claim the firstborn has been very impressive. Let us plan for the trials ahead. Not to brag, but I'm totally the best. Hey, these little guys are great. You have the heart of a coward. Your heart can overcome any challenge. I think this wrinkle is just going to be killing me. So I made a real big mistake playing the Royal Scions there instead of just holding up Ionize. Messed that up. Or really the, the attack I made 
how I talked about with um, you know letting Judith block you know tapping out to let Judith block and kill the three one I should have just attacked with the the three one that's that was the that was the play that cost me the game for sure that was that was the the play that cost me that game GG's pony GG's um yeah that's that's my deck yeah but then yeah you added in the claim the firstborn i yeah i like that that claim the firstborn i mean i know a lot of people in chat were like telling me to try out claim the firstborn there in racto sacrifice um and i was hesitant of course um but yeah that that claim the firstborn looked awesome it did so what deck was that that was racto sacrifice um, and if you need that, I can look for that. Yeah, it's, it's a great best of one deck. And, and so, yeah, basic, um, here you go. I, I've been seeing more and more people, like the more and more that I've played against that deck, the more I've seen, I've played against people playing claim the firstborn also. And, and it, it does look pretty good. Yeah. And yeah, being able to use it as a haste effect for, that's honestly for priest like that's that's awesome being able to use it as haste effect for priest so what it so what you take out for those in the deck there yeah i got to haste the priest with it that was awesome snackrifice <laughs> snackrifice is such a good name that's such a good one all right 14 and 2 I used all my luck today, Hawkeye. We'll see if we have luck tomorrow also. But that's always a, a lot of fun. I hope even though I got a lot of the wins today, I hope uh, everybody in team chat had a lot of fun with um, uh, with sub battle day. This is a just a, a cool special stream that I do the last Saturday of every month. So uh, next the next one will be, of course, the last Saturday in November. Um, one more. That's, that's it for me tonight. Um, yeah, that's, that's it for me tonight. Um, I think it was probably the best of one channel, probably. Yeah, so the Yorvo, yep, the Yorvo Brawl deck. I had not taken a look at that deck. That's going to be, I'm playing Yorvo Brawl tomorrow sec up second. Um, we're playing the Jund Great Henge uh ember cleave deck that we, we played against earlier we're playing that first tomorrow then your vote your vote brawl and then uh a trail of crumbs card draw deck uh up third so those are three donation decks that we got and then up fourth i'm gonna be trying esper control in ranked um all right so that's it here for our sub battle stream day that's why Hawkeye's here. He's like, it's it's Hawkeye's like, it's ten o'clock. It's time for me to eat dinner. And I'm like, I know Hawkeye. It's time for you to eat dinner. So he's all happy. Um, yeah, Baloney Pony, that was awesome. That was awesome. Um, okay. So, <laughs> uh, anyway, if if you're watching the video on YouTube, please hit the like button over there. Please leave a comment. I would appreciate both of those. And of course. Please check out the Patreon page also if you'd like to support my content. Um, you know, patreon.com slash Todd Stevens MTG. All right, that's it here for the sub battle stream, though. So say say goodbye, Hawkeye. Goodbye, Hawkeye. Thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.